The Chemical Change of Encounters is what this title of this episode is called, and I have no idea what that means. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Q Season 3, Episode 6. Last episode, we had Shiro Torizawa taking the third set. Um, we're on to the fourth set. We had some great teamwork and some great motivation coming out of Hinata trying to not be I don't want to say useless because he's never useless but trying to hold his weight and do a little bit more to the team because he knows he wants to and then you see people like Goshiki or the other team who want to replace Ushijima and he's popping off so it makes sense you know and then so he's going back and forth side to side we were finally able to get a huge rally which led to our point against them and it just feels great we got Oikawa, Iwaizumi, my boys in the stands. I'm loving it. I'm just so excited to find out where this set and then this match obviously goes. Fantastic finals of this tournament. I'm just so excited to hop into this. I am so ready. Remember guys, if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead. Check out that Patreon down below. Always is it available to you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are currently not subscribed. Hit that bell so you guys always know when I post. And then follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, at Darius. I appreciate y'all. But let's hop right on into this. Haikyuu Season 3, Episode 6, The Chemical Change of Encounters. Oh, wow. This is a throwback. Look at how young they look. My man bun maniac doesn't even have a man bun. Hashiro. <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting episode. Oh my lord. Wow. So like Nekoma, a lot of the Yeah. This is when they were just realizing they're the fallen crows, the flightless birds. That's a great visualization. Uprooting you and everything like that. Trying to pull out of it. They're still super eager, a little more passionate, you know. <laughs> He's always been that leader, fucking front runner mentality. I always love it. That's how he became the powerhouse defense man that he is. I like it. He just wanted to get used to going to where the ball is immediately, works on catching it, then he can work on receiving, you know. Nice. <laughs> Look at Kyoko. Yeah. Yep. That's that coach from, or not the coach, the, the fan who is very... Fickle. I wish these guys, Tashiro, I wish he was come back, you know. <laughs> Good motivation for them years down the line. I wish Tashiro could come back and see them right now. That'd be dope, you know. It's a good cut to Daichi nowadays, you know. I like that. Daichi's always been the GOAT. Yeah, that desperately stolen half step of a lead. <laughs> I love how he said that. Ooh, nice read. Hageyama, Nishinoya with the jump set. With Asahi in the back. I love when they, Nishinoya does his toss. Love that shit. Twenty-one, twenty-one. But we have the point cycle advantage, so 
We just need to get two in a row and we're nasty. Here comes Aita, Aita, whatever his name is, yep. Oh, yeah, you're saving up for you. Yeah, you didn't even get a chance to process that he was jumping up. That's how fast he is. <laughs> and yeah, in this fifth set, it's gonna be crazy. People are gonna be so tired. Yamaguchi, pop off. Let's do it. Right where Ushiwaka is, close. Leon got it. And nice, nice, yep. Now we have to go over to our backup, not Ushijima. Goshiki, one touch, let's go. Tsukushima, amazing as always. Good save, Tanaka. Oh, he juked him. He juked him, yep. The lag, the lag thing that Tendo was able to get two episodes ago. Taichi got juked, hell yeah. And we got two in a row, we broke through, let's go. <laughs> Look at that guy. They're calling a timeout. Okay. He's not wrong there. There's no defense that's unbeatable, but come on. Going over to Ushijima. Oh my god. Was that out? That was theirs, yep. You'd think so. You'd think so. The fifth set will be ours. Yeah, he is feeling it. He is feeling it. Let's go. Fifth set. We all. Oh, this is going to be a hard ass last two points. Nice. Oh, Suka. Oh my god. The mid air fight. The mid air fight. This man looked like a snake the way he bent his arm. He said, no, My man, Tsukushima. <laughs> Look at his face. <sighs> True. I didn't even realize he's the one who missed that set. I wasn't even, like, processing that. Yeah. Yeah, he's probably also reaching his limit. He touches the ball more than anyone. Yeah. That was our first set we've probably missed in God knows how long. I never in my life would have thought he would have fainted. Ever. That's true. They've braced themselves for the power blitz so much that no one was prepared for that. Yeah. Yeah. That was needed. That was beautiful. Oh. <laughs> the deuce of despair. Tendo is so wild. I love him. That's like a Hinata face right there. Like that face is literally like Hinata used to be back in the day. <laughs> People like, we haven't lost yet. What are you talking about? Nice. That's so hard to read sometimes. Good shit. Good shit. One more. Come on. Let's break again, boys. Uh, and we're at a deuce again, and Ushijima's serving. Great. But if we're hitting our limit, someone else must be hitting their limit, too. And they broke. Are you serious? A net in at a time like this. I didn't even know that's what that's called. Good to know. I'm heated. <laughs> I'm heated. I'm heated. Oh my god, that animation. He perfectly sniped it. Rolling thunder. Oh my god, that man is a god. <laughs> that damn demon serve. That's what I'm saying. God damn it. 
Over to Leon. Tsukushima. Kageyama. Oh, he's... Nice. Oh, yes. Whew. Good. He's back into it. Hell yeah. And Asahi, Daichi, and Sugawara would remember him from back when he was shitting on him. No idea. Yeah, they remember him. <laughs> They're happy about that. They're like, hell yeah. <laughs> Even Uka is like, that fucking guy. Tired Yamakun. <laughs> nice. Nice. Sugawara could... I love that. He's like... <laughs> Pushing. He sniped it in the front for them to come up. Chance ball on us. We're going through. Hinata going wild with his fucking shenanigans. It's short again, but you know Hinata. He's going to hit any. This is when he worked on his midair fights. He's nasty. The momentum, the speed, the ferocity, everything. That's us. Set four, baby. We're going into set five against Shira Torizawa. Let's go. Look at Kyoko. I love that little throwback to the beginning that we saw earlier. Grab it, Daichi. Grab it. They only feel disparity when they can't play volleyball anymore. They can keep going. Oh, oh! Set four went our way beautifully, might I add. But I was just super happy about the way that went. Hinata coming back in, being that clutch that we needed, being able to hit that left. I love the flashback to the midair fight training we had with Ukai. I love Ukai coming in. I love the flashback seeing Kurokawa and Tashiro, the captain, and some of our players that inspired but also taught us what to do and what not to do in terms of you know playing um for daichi uh, sugawara and asahi i love seeing yen them how inspired and passionate they were and love to see how that transition into them being the great like role models and inspirational people that they are today daichi's always been the goat since literal day one i love that um but he's using that as motivation i love that fan who you know hates on like there are definitely fans out there like that who hate on the team when they're down but love them when they're up they're definitely not bandwagoners but they're just like they're fickle you know like they're they're not ride or dies should we say even though he's coming to every match he can so he's obviously he loves the team and he loves the sport and he but it's just like a different form of passion for his team i understand it completely i know people like that in real life so i get i'm just glad he's back on their team giving them more motivation to keep pushing on i love that i love that I'm super excited for this fifth set. The the prospect of both teams getting tired. Ushijima maybe hitting his limit. You know, it's just like, that's just crazy. I think I'm about to end this episode here, but we do have a question on the Q&A section of the Discord. So shout out to Lulero for asking this question. If you guys don't know, we do have a Q&A section on the Discord. You can ask me any question about any show that I'm watching, and I'll try to answer it during that show. But Lulero, one of my Discord mods for a long time, has said, surprise, it's the old sports anime staple. Assemble your dream team from the characters you've seen thus far. Then, as a bonus, so it's not entirely the same thing, uh, everyone else has done assemble a team from non-active players that you would like to see a friend of the game coaches manages managers little okay okay so a non-starting non-player player team and then an actual team team okay okay this is actually kind of hard and i won't lie it's obviously biased because i've seen the potential and i know these characters for so much longer, but at least half the team is Karasudo members, which is kind of crazy. Like I'm just starting with Libero. You're not gonna choose another Libero besides Nishinoya. That's, that's literally where you have to start. He's the grounded, most grounded <laughs> defense player we know. Then I'm, I obviously have to choose Ka Ah, should I choose Oikawa? Oikawa would be nasty, but Hinata Kageyama would be the duo. I think I'm going to go with Oikawa Iwaizumi, just because I personally think Oikawa Iwaizumi 
is Iwazumi is very flexible as an ace and is also a very powerhouse, but is also very analytical. And he's very physically and mentally sound. Whereas like someone like Bokuto can shut down, you know, Ushijima is very unique because of his left hand cannon. So I think just for their teamwork specifically and for their overall ability to up upbring their team, you know, positively, I think Iwazumi and Oikawa are going to be the ace and my setter i think my opposite hitter is going to be that's so hard i think it's going to be kuro even though kuro's middle blocker right i think my two middle blockers are going to be sukashima and kuro for their for their mental fortitude and for their analyticalness kuro is the one who put sukashima on and sukashima is nasty by itself so kuro's nasty so oikawa iwaizumi Nishinoya, uh, Tsukushima, Kuro, and then fuck it, we'll go Tanaka, just because we need Tanaka on the team. He's that bald-headed senpai, I don't know. I would say that for the squad, I don't, it's six, man. yeah, just for starting a unit six, but then you switch out one for Nishinoya, whatever. That's just, you guys get my gist. You guys get where I'm going with that. I think that would be a really good squad. I would love to see like a fantasy draft of like teams and doing this. That would be so cool. Like that'd be just something, something else. But for the non-active teams, I would love to see the legendary coaches that we've met so far. Um, uh, Alba Josai's coach, old man ukai even though like obviously we'd have to a parameter in which they're not going to injure themselves because they're old men but uh shira torizawa's coach uh nekomata so alba ukai shira torizawa nekomata and then one more coach that we've seen that seems cool i don't know this another maybe uh the party that's uh what's the party schools team you know what i'm talking about um i like their coach as well so maybe their coach and then versus all the kids that ukai was teaching that was kind of showing hinata some shit because kids obviously don't have the discipline mental training stuff like that, that these old men have but physically it's like it's a the ultimate mental fortitude versus the ultimate physicality i think that's what i would see old men versus kids that sounds super weird but i think it would be a good time so thank you for that question there that was a great question uh thank you guys for watching if you guys want early access and full length to this show, all the other shows, make sure to check out that Patreon down below. Like always, I appreciate y'all. Make sure to follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, at Dapper Darius. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, Dapper Squad.